Good morning, folks. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and see that solar flaring has dropped out since the goodbye kiss that nearly hit X range two days ago. It appears the CME from that eruption has struck Earth's magnetosphere half a day earlier than most predictions. That is a speedy impact there, but not very dense. It's still very early in the impact, and any geomagnetic effects might come a bit later, but the lack of proton surging and electrons dropping is a very good sign that the low density will make this a weaker impact than the speed might otherwise indicate. At least I hope so, given that I get on a plane today to head to the Electric Universe Conference. Even still, I'm not worried. This is a mid-latitude flight for me, and we're at a low level one storm now. Plus, I'm a fairly healthy guy and can likely handle any radiation I'd get from this. Anyway, with the big sunspot group departing now, our disk is left without many umbras. Next one coming in from the left, the northeastern limb. Remember, east and west are flipped on the sun. Our other eruption concern in the meantime is the plasma filaments. The dark ropes curling in the corona here could release if they destabilize. After nine days without a gamma burst, we saw our third in 31 hours last night out of Draco, way up north. As you see the departing northern coronal hole, know that it is connected to that tiny dark circle on the southern hemisphere. All positive polarity, but the coronal magnetic fields are not very open. We have always struggled to determine if things like this were significant for space weather and seismicity. Duality continues here on Earth. Cold records falling in Tunisia, Namibia, Turkey. While red can be seen in Spain and western Russia, the cold slinks down right now from the Arctic and we see green in Africa. Not normal for June. Let's of course contrast that with what is about to happen in the western U.S. We'll see if the thunderbolts summer in the desert next year. Meanwhile, it will be nice and cooler in the east. And I might as well go ahead and yank up weather.com's summer forecast while I'm at it. Low pressure cells in purple. They create severe alerts tonight south of them along the eastern states and in the upper Midwest where the precipitable water can be found. We're going to go around the world and I've got those same two overlays plus shots of our star to close. It's 3.15 a.m. Eastern Time and I'm off to the Electric Universe Conference. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.